so in this video we are going to solve questions on vectors as we prepare for the upcoming NovDEC core mathematics paper now we have a question this happens to be NovDEC 2014 question 13 question 1a if x or if the vector x is negative 2 4 and vector y is negative 3 1 find correct to one decimal place the magnitude of the vector x plus y b the point p 6 4 q negative 2 negative 2 r 4 negative 6 are the vertices of a triangle pqr i determine the coordinates of m and s the midpoints of the line pq and pr respectively i i find the vector qr and the vector ms i i i state the relationship between the vector qr and vector ms and also for iv find the equation of the line ms now let's solve this question together so for 1a we are asked to find correct to one decimal place the magnitude of the vector x plus y so we have the vector x plus y equals now vector x is negative 2 4 and vector y is negative 3 1 so this becomes negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5 and then 4 plus 1 is 5 therefore we have the vector x plus y to be negative 5 5 this is the vector x plus y so the magnitude of the vector x plus y is given by the square root of the square of the x component plus the square of the y component so we have the x component to be negative 5 so negative 5 square and the y component to be 5 so we have 5 square negative 5 square is 25 5 square is also 25 so we have 25 plus 25 and that is equal to 50 now the square root of 50 is equal to 5 root 2 and this is equal to 7.07 .07. Now we are asked to leave our answer correct to one decimal place. Therefore, the magnitude of the vector x plus y is equal to 7.1. This is to one decimal place. Now let's solve for bi. We are to determine the coordinates of m and s, which are the midpoints of the line pq and PR now M is going to be the midpoint of the line PQ and then S is the midpoint of the line PR even before that we know that the midpoint of a line or the midpoint between two points is given by half times X1 plus X2 Y1 plus y2 so this is how to find the midpoint between two points now we have been told that m is the midpoint of the line pq which is the line joining the two points p and then q so we are going to assume that the coordinates of p is x1 y1 and the coordinates of q is x2 y2 now let's find the midpoint m so using this same formula, we have m equals half times, we have x1 to be 6 and then x2 to be negative 2. So we have 6 plus negative 2 and then we have y1 to be 4, y2 to be negative 2. So 4 plus negative 2. So that is half times 6 minus 2 is 4. So we have 4 
and then 4 minus 2 is 2 so we have 2 here and then we have the midpoint to be 2 1 that is m the coordinates of m now let's find the coordinate of s that is the midpoint between the line pr So we have the coordinates of P to be 6, 4, that of Q to be negative 2, negative 2, and then for R, we have 4, negative 6. So S is the midpoint of the line PR. So this becomes X1, Y1, and then X2, Y2. So we have half times x1 is 6 plus x2 is 4, y1 is 4 plus y2 is negative 6. Let's simplify. 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 minus 6 is negative 2. So we multiply what's in the brackets by half and then we have 5 negative 1 so this is the coordinate of s the midpoint of the line pr now let's move on to ii for ii we are going to find the vector qr and the vector ms so we are going to find the vector qr and the vector ms so the vector qr is given by the position vector of r relative to o minus the position vector of q relative to o so this is equal to we have r to be 4 negative 6 minus q that is negative 2 negative 2 now 4 minus negative 2 is 6 and the negative 6 minus negative 2 is the same as negative 6 plus 2 so that becomes negative 4 so this is the vector qr now let's find the vector ms also for vector ms it is given by the position vector of s relative to o minus the position vector of m relative to o so we have the coordinates of s to be 5, negative 1. So 5, negative 1 minus for m, for m we had 2, 1. So 2, 1. 5 minus 2 is 3. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Therefore, the vector ms is 3, negative 2 now to i i i it says that we should find the relationship or state the relationship between the vector q r and vector m s now the two vectors vector q r and then vector m s are parallel vectors now parallel vectors are vectors which have the same direction or better still, parallel vectors are vectors in which one vector is a scalar multiple of the other. Now these two vectors QR and then MS are parallel vectors in the sense that they have the same direction. That is, if you find the direction of the two vectors, you realize that they have the same direction and one is a scalar multiple of the other. Now the vector QR is equal to 6, negative 4. And this is equal to 2 times of the vector 3, negative 2. Now 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So this is 2 times of the vector ms. Therefore, we say that vector qr is parallel 
and twice the size of vector ms so this is the relationship between the two vectors now let's solve for Ivan. for Ivan, we are supposed to find the equation of the line ms or the equation of the line joining the two points ms so we have the coordinates of m to be 2 1 and the coordinates of s to be 5 negative 1 so let's say the coordinates of m are going to be x1 y1 and the coordinates of s are going to be x2 y2 now to find the line ms first of all we need to find the gradient so we know that the gradient m is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 we have y2 to be negative 1 and then y1 to be 1 we have x2 to be 5 and then x1 to be 2 so this becomes negative 2 divided by 3 so this is the gradient and we can use this formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 to find the equation of the line that is the line ms so we have y minus y1 is 1 we have m to be negative 2 over 3 x minus x1 is 2 because of this fraction we are going to multiply each of the terms by 3 to do away with this fraction so if we multiply 3 by y we have 3y 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 now 3 times the whole of this will give us negative 2 times x so negative 2x and then negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 so we have 3y we transpose the terms on the right hand side to the left hand side it becomes plus 2x and then negative 3 minus 4 becomes negative 7 equals 0 therefore this is the equation of the line ms so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye